Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota and I garden in a zone four and I thought I would do a video on, on how I prick out my viola and pansy seeds. I had started these seeds on February 7th, so they've been going growing for about a month and they look, I think, fantastic. It's the first time for me growing these. So I think they look really good. I did Sorbet Antique Shades Viola and uh, Strawberry Tricolor Pansy. The I've gotten a lot of the Sorbet Antique Shades, so I have a lot. I've already pricked some out, but I thought I'd do a quick video on showing you how I did it. And the one thing I could probably tell you is when pricking out seeds, hold off on the watering. I wasn't sure when I was gonna do this, so it's it's pretty wet. It makes pricking them out a little bit difficult. The soil is really clumping. I mean, it's not a horrible thing, but it's just making it a little bit more difficult to work with. I like doing seeds this way in these little trays. I just feel that some of these seeds are so tiny, I can just scatter them and prick out the strongest ones. Sometimes it's all of them, sometimes it's maybe half of them. Sometimes germination is not the best, so I figured this takes up a little tiny bit of soil and then I can prick them out and give them their own little home. When I start seeds, I always use a soil mixture that, or a potty mix that doesn't have any fertilizer. So at this point, once I prick them out, I then put them in their own little homes. These are just some leftover seed cells from last year. I'm not a fan of them because they are perforated, but they tear. So it, it was really difficult when I was giving some to friends and family because um, I was trying to tear them up and very flimsy plastic. So I'm, I'm, I will reuse this until I can't anymore. I'm a huge fan of reusing my plastic till I can't and recycling. And like I said, reusing everything that I have cuts down on cost, but it also reduces the plastic that we use. So in here, I have just the same potting mix that I use for starting my seeds. The only thing is I have not pre-moistened it. This is just a preference on my part because I don't like to deal with very wet soil because when you can see this, I mean, it just kind of clumps and this at least when I pot them in there, it's still a loose area, I'm not packing it down because I like to firm it in, not too much, but this is a bit wet. But again, it's a preference. I do add to this mix just, just a little tiny pinch. I don't, don't measure, I just go by feel and look. And I have started putting Osmocote slow release fertilizer into uh, my pots when I've been plant or potting up, pricking out. I'm not sponsored by anyone. It's just, it's what my big box store has. So that's what I get. It's convenient and I, I really like the results. Now, if I were eating these, I would not be using that. I would go with an organic fertilizer, probably like worm castings or something like that. But because I'm not eating this, I'm, that's what I'm using. So then what I do, the other thing I did is, so I have Sorbet Antique Shades, I've labeled it. This will be an entire tray of that one. I know I'm gonna have some that I'm just gonna have to get rid of. I have a hard time doing that, I really do. When I've gotten them to this point, they're so happy and healthy to get rid of such beautiful little seedlings. But I went a little overboard with my perennials and I am running out of room, so we'll see. But because it's perforated, I already went ahead and kind of cut this apart. So when I'm bottom watering, which I do for most of my plants up until I start off, start the harding off stage, then they get water from the top because I, do, I just don't have the time. But I did this, so I, and I'll show you how I water this real quick. So I can, every time I lift it out, this is my little reservoir. I'll put this back in. And this tag helps me just realize this is the one that I did that with. Otherwise, they are a pain. I don't know if you can see this one here, Tor. So yeah, these are all gonna be mine. Um, I'm not big on planting pansies and violas just because, you know, we go from winter to a little tiny bit of spring right into summer. And these have a tendency not to like that. One of these varieties say that they can tolerate the heat, but mm, we'll see. But um, they can tolerate the cold a little bit more than others. So I thought maybe I can get a head start on adding some color 
to my containers before mid-May. That's when I can safely plan out. I'm hoping maybe these could go out end of April. I don't know, fingers crossed. Tomorrow we're talking high 50s and the next few days mid 60s. That's kind of crazy for Minnesota. Just And that's the weather, up and down, up and down, all over the place. So, but I figure if it works, great. If not, it's just the cost of seeds and some time. I use this for pricking out. Nothing fancy. You can use whatever you want. Um, what I do is I just kind of go all the way under. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of just move it up. If this was a little drier, it would probably be a lot easier to work with, but I had to get this done. I'll be doing a lot of seed sowing next week. So I've got one little dude here, looks really good. I'm just gonna get these out real quick. I picked the best looking ones and then the little tiny ones if I had room, I'd plant them, but at this point, I have a lot. Sometimes my seedlings can get just a little bit leggy, and it, it happens no matter how good you are at seed sowing. So then what I'll do is, because it's a little wobbly here, I'll plant it right up, I don't know if you can see that, up to there, a little bit deeper. And that's why I like to prick out also, because I can plant them just a little bit deeper to help with that, to create a stronger plant. Not not too deep, but just, just a little bit. Um, most of my annual flowers I do this way there are some that I do not sunflowers are one that I don't do this way I find they do not like their roots disturbed and uh, what else zinnias grow so fast so I just and they're big seeds so when they when they're big seeds and they grow fast I just kind of sell them in their own little containers but what else? Mexican sunflower, Tithonia, grows really fast for me. Datura is another one that will get its own little container when I start the seeds. They're, they're just really big seeds, so it's easy to work with. Sweet peas are another one that I found that from last year I had put into these little seed trays. When I pricked them out, I mean, they had a really extensive root system. It took a long time for them to bounce back from that. So those I'm putting in their own little trays and they get such a deep root system that it's going to be a pretty big container, at least, you know, depth wise. So I'm just making holes here about an inch deep and round, if not a little bit bigger. I grab it by a leaf or I would grab it by the soil, never the stem. And then this is where I just kind of, and I'm probably too gentle when I'm doing this. Last thing I want to do is break the stem. You will lose your plant. If you tear a leaf, it'll regrow another leaf. I firm it down just a little bit, but I'm not like pushing it down, just enough to get the air pockets out. so quiet in here because my fridge stopped or not stopped running but it you know what I mean stop that little hum it does it turned the heat down in here to 65 uh, 70 was a bit balmy and no joke I think with the warm temps here um, actually I'm gonna Take that one back out and plant it a little bit deeper. But yeah, there's definitely a lot more humidity in my garage here. That is my plant room. But I will see how it works for seed starting because a lot of these seeds need 70 degrees to germinate. But yeah, it was, my plants have been growing pretty quickly. Now again, I can't plant out till mid-May. I had started a lot of perennials from seed. Some are proven to be very aggressive. 
Oops, I'm gonna set this aside. That potting mix that I have there will not be thrown. I will reuse it. Probably my pots outside. I'm not, it's very wet. I'm not gonna take the chance of reusing it in here because I do have issues with fungus gnats. I deal with them. I, they, they can be a bit of a nuisance. I have some ladybugs in here and some spiders. They are helping me. I have yellow sticky tape to help me out, but I'm definitely, but I'm not gonna get rid of potting mix. I can just rejuvenate it. All right, lift it up again. I'm not gonna lie, I use some for uh, my winter sewing too, because I figure it's getting to freezing, so anything that is in that soil as far as fungus gnats will probably be killed by the cold. I like pricking out. It's a bit fiddly, tedious, um, but I find it relaxing. And it just kind of, it slows me down. Sometimes days can get so hectic and you have so much going on that when it comes to this, you can just actually, what I usually do is I'll just play my music and just sit here and do this. I don't have to think when I'm doing this. It's kind of why I like to garden too. I'm not saying you don't have to think when you're gardening. It's just when you're weeding or digging holes, I don't know. There's just something very simplistic about that. And the other thing, I, I mean, I do keep track of time, but, you know, I get so tired of checking my watch for the time because so much what I do is time related that you can see I took it off. I want to enjoy this moment. So that's just me. There's, especially when I take a little time off to do this from work, my watch, I put it aside because I, I, I am, I'm always looking at it. That one's just a little bit wobbly. Let me... I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I don't like that. All right, try this again. I hope these work. They look like good little plants. All right, so I'm going to finish doing these. I have... 12 more to go and so this tray here holds 18 and I have done I'll this will be my third tray and I'm gonna stop there I don't need that many plants because what is that 18 18 times 3 54 I should be good with 54 viola viola and pansy plants possibly but I figure if I have any left over I'm not just gonna chuck them I'll give them to some family and friends if they want to do that I don't know. I, like I said, I like to push it with gardening just so I can extend the growing season a little bit longer. So when I'm finished with this, I will show you how I water this. Okay, so I got all of my violas and pansies potted up and now it's gonna be time to water. So again, I just have one. I took out, I left the tag in it to let me know which one comes out like that and then I will I'm gonna try and do this first. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I'm sorry. That is me. So I will fill this bottom water. I usually put about an inch in and then see what happens. And you will definitely tell a difference once it has soaked up all the water. It does take a lot because this is a very dry potting mix. And I might have to add a little more water to it. Set that one back in there. So you can see how, we'll just go, that looks very light in color. And those are very dark, so that's how you tell a difference. Yeah. 
if there's any water that's left in here after everything has had a good soaking, soaked it up, then what I would do is I would try and drain it out as best as I can. Sometimes I use a turkey baster and suck it out that way. Again, it's tedious, but that's why I kind of go, you know, a little bit at a time, so I'm not having to do that. Yeah, what, since I've added an inch, it's almost gone. So it'll take a little bit more for that to soak up. Yeah, that's, that is really soaking it up. And so, okay, I have issues with you know, getting rid of plants. So I had this cute little terracotta pot so yeah, I put some in here, the remaining ones. And I just topped off with some vermiculite just to make it look a little prettier. But yeah, I, I have issues. But I thought, you know, if this works out, then I can put this out or have some color for, you know, late April, early May and let it grow on. I don't know, first time for doing this. So but like I said, I just couldn't throw out such healthy looking little seedlings. Like they were begging to be potted on. Let's see where it's at. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more. So that terracotta pot, I'm gonna have to find a spot for it under a grow light. But I will figure something out. I think I'm gonna add maybe about half an inch. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will be doing some videos on seed starting, which will probably be next week at some time. So I can't wait. So bye for now.